In this video, I'll quickly show you how to download and start using VST instrument plugins in LMMS. So we've learned in the past that there's all these default ones we can drag and drop in and listen to what they sound like. We click on them to bring up the different interface for the instrument. And then we can see what it sounds like and we can make adjustments to it. Well, these are the built-in VSTs that come with LMMS when you install it, but you can also get premium uh, paid and also free VSTs from different sources on the internet. I'm gonna show you one such source now, it's dskmusic.com, and they have some really good free VSTs that you can download that work well with LMMS. So we're gonna sample with this uh, DSK The Grand. So I'll just click on here, and it's this is kind of what the interface will look like. It looks like a grand piano and has some, a couple different adjustments and uh, we can play and listen to what it sounds like, a little YouTube video of it. But to download it, we can just come right here and we'll just select either for a 32-bit or 64-bit. It's really tricky. Look, there's an ad right below here, so it's kind of hard to see. But the download link is this. Um, you can download for Windows or Mac. Uh, and then you can download the 32-bit version and run it um, on Linux with Wine. But I'm going to do the 64-bit, so we left-click here, and it just takes us and starts downloading it. I already have this downloaded, so it's going to be in my Downloads folder. So I'm going to pull that up and navigate to the, my downloads, and it's right here, this DSK, the grand. It's a zipped folder, a compressed folder, so I'm gonna right click and go extract all, and just choose to extract it right here in the downloads folder. And now I can see I have this new folder. If we open it, it has a couple of files, it has a readme file inside of here, and it also has uh, this, the instrument, and then it has this DLL. The DLL file is what we need to open in uh, LMMS to access this instrument. So what we can do is just minimize this for now and go back to LMMS. We'll close out of these and we are going to grab sort of the interface to that uh, virtual instrument is this vestige. So we're going to click on this or vestige and uh, what this does is brings up an interface here where we can come over to this little green folder. We left click here and select a VST. So I'm going to go to my downloads directory find that DSK the grand and go into it and make sure I'm looking for a DLL file or you could do .exe files work also certain .exe files but I'm looking for DLL files right now I'll click on this one and go open and then it opens this grand piano and I can make adjustments to it and see you know how we can make this sound different and so now we have a grand piano, and then we can, any notes that we bring in here, like I could bring in a part of this melody here. Where's the part of the melody? We go copy, paste this. And so then it has the, the piano part uh, playing there in the grand piano instead. I can listen to just that. Oops, if I go to here. Anyway, uh, that is basically the gist of it. Now you can also, um, you want to organize these. You probably don't want to run it directly from your downloads directory. To find out where your plugins directory is, you can go to edit and go to settings and then click on this folder here and it tells you your VST plugin directory. Mine is program files VST plugins, but yours might be somewhere different or you can choose to tell it to look for a certain place. But you'll want to put all your VST plugins there. Just so you know, usually on Windows, if you go to C, and then program files, LMMS is usually installed there in program files. And within here, there's this plugins directory. So this is a really good place to put those folders. I have some other ones that I've already downloaded. Uh, if I go to my downloads, I have, uh, in fact, I'll just extract all these real quick by highlighting them and then going to 7-zip and going to extract to here. So we'll extract each one of these individually. And then we can see all these different instruments. I could drag them. In fact, I think I will. I'll just go... Uh, I'll cut them from here. I'm gonna close out of LMMS. Oh, close, close. Don't save this. And then I'm gonna paste them in that L that dir same directory that LMMS is installed. So program files, LMS, plugins, and I'll just paste them all right here. I'll go paste and continue. And now these are all going to be, oh, oh I have to do that for each one. Ah. So now these are all going to be here. And some of these are pretty cool. So we can get back into LMMS. And I'll just show you a couple of these ones. Um, again, this is a very limited sampling from just this one website. And uh, you can do, there's really, really cool VSTs that'll really make your make your composition sound awesome. So let me just open that back up that, uh, I won't need a, a certain song actually. I'll go to my instrument plugins, I'll bring in this, and then we'll click, go to the folder. 
And now we'll just navigate to that location, Program Files, uh, LMMS. And you do have to restart after changing the directory, which I didn't. This Asian Dream ones is pretty cool, though. Uh, what it has is a bunch of different instruments here like this. And you can change the instrument. So a bunch of different kind of string type instruments. Anyway, and then you can make adjustments to these as well if you want to. I'm not quite sure how, what these adjustments do. Uh, anyway, uh, that is basically using VST instruments. Oh, and if you like a, a certain setting, if we adjust this to a certain way that we like it, we can always click on save here and save a preset. So we can save it under our, this is also under uh, documents, LMS, presets is where I guess this one wants to save it. We can save it anywhere. And then we can save this, my preset or whatever we want to call it, and hit save. And then we can access it from our presets right over here that'll have a certain uh, preset. Once we restart, it'll be here under um, vestige presets. And we can drag and drop this in and have a certain preset to something that we've made earlier. So hopefully you found that video informative. Go ahead and uh, leave your questions, comments below if you have any. I will say not all of the VSTs will work. There's a compatibility page that I'll include uh, that'll kind of show some of the ones that have, that have been tested with LMMS and known to work. There's different compatibility if, uh, differences between different operating systems. So um, just kind of try uh, try around. But it, LMS works really well with most of the mainstream popular VSTs. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.